Uh-huh. Yo. Hey, this is Cross. Welcome back, everybody, to a new Minecraft Let's Build. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you give this video a like. And if you do so, Thank you very, very, very much. But ladies and gentlemen, in the previous let's build, we did the house behind me. And if you guys want to build it, there should be a link for that house in the description below this video. However, today we're going to be doing something totally different. I'm not sure how many of you guys watched my Hermitcraft series, but not long ago, I did a barn. And that is something you guys been requesting quite a bit that I do on a let's build. And who would I be to say no to that? However, before we get into that, I just want to say thank you so much to Plarium for sponsoring today's video. Raid Shadow Legends has received a whole lot of love from the mobile gaming community. This game has great storyline and the graphics are just beautiful. I mean, look at the character designs. The details are beyond amazing and remember that this is a mobile game. And it's most definitely one of the most ambitious RPG content games of 2019 with over 10 million players around the world. And that is just in 6 months, which kind of makes it crazy when you think about it. However, totally understandable because this game has something for everybody. Giant boss fights. Oh yes. PvP battles. Oh yes. Dragons? Absolutely. And there are hundreds upon hundreds of amazingly detailed champions to collect and customize. And I mean it. There are tons of them. One of my favorites is Gallic. Because, uh, Orc? For the Horde! Shadow Legends is totally free and with over 300,000 reviews on the Play Store, it has almost the perfect score. The game is growing super fast and they have some fantastic updates planned for the next 6 months. Just check out this cool roadmap they have just published. So there's going to be plenty of content for you all to enjoy. If you want to start your journey, just go to the video description and smack that link to get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as a part of the new player program. And all I can say is, go get it. Oh my goodness, okay, I'm all out of breath. I usually don't talk that fast, but once again, thank you so much, Plarium, for sponsoring this video. It does really help me a lot. So thank you, thank you, and spank you. Okay, you can't spank your sponsor. Plarium, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the main materials for the house. We're going to have more than this, but if you have enough of those, you should be good to go. So we're going to be using quite a bit of the oak logs, stripped oak logs, oak planks, stairs, and slab, and then spruce wood up, planks, stairs, and slabs. We're going to be building this house or this barn on the default resource pack, and the shader pack I'm currently using is called Silver's Vibrant Shaders version 1.18 high dot zip. Let's get to the foundation. And using oak logs, let's count. 3, 2, 1, and poop it down. Yes, please don't judge me. We do clap on the first blog on this channel. It's a channel tradition, right? So it is what it is. And ladies and gentlemen, please spend some time on this part of the video because it's the foundation. And if you get this part correct, everything's going to line up at the end of the video, right? But we have the corner piece. And this will be the front of the barn. Let's count. One, two, three. And the fourth one, place one more. Let's count. One, two, three. And on the fourth one, place one more. But it's going to be a stripped oak log. One block inwards like this. This will be our door. So let's count. One, two, three, and four. On the fifth one, place Onomas. So it's going to be a four block gap for the doorway like this. And then let's pretty much mirror the same shape as we have here on this side. So one, two, three, and four. One more. One, two, three, and four. And one more. So there's a three block gap in between, three block gap in between, four block gap in between, three and three. So from above, you have a shape. Not much of a shape, but a shape it is. Now let's jump to this corner and let's do some counting with Corrales. So let's do one, two, three, four. And on the fifth one, double logs. Let's do one, two, three, four, double logs. One, two, three, four, double logs. One, two, three, and four, double logs. The most important thing here is that this gap over here is four blocks in width. Then we have three gaps, which are all three blocks in width. So we have one, two and three and the last one will be four so one two three four and on the fifth one turn it so this is going to be the end of the barn itself so we have four blocks in in uh, in between three blocks three blocks three blocks and four blocks and then we're going to take this shape from the front and mirror this to the back so what we have is one two three on the fourth one we do have that pillar then we count one two three and on the fourth one we have that pillar one, two, three, and four. Boom, mirror to that one. And what we can do now is pretty much mirror that shape over here. So we have this first uh, gap, which is going to be four blocks in width. One, two, three, and four. And then we have three uh, gaps, which are three blocks in between. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And that means the last one is four blocks. So from above, 
you are having this shape. I know it looks a little bit messed up, but believe in this, all right? And then, no and then. And then we're going to get some interior pillars going as well. So we're going to jump down over here and we're going to place a row, which is pretty much on the same line as that door pillar and the same lines as those ones. So let's start. One, two, three, and four. And all those gaps in between over here should be three blocks in width. And we're going to do the same on this side. However, this side will have double pillars. And we're going to start on this block over here. So we're going to have one and two. Mirror to that one. One and two. Mirror to that one. One and two. Mirror to that one. And yes, you guessed it. One and two. Mirror to that one. So this is all the pillars of the foundation. And I know this is uh, this looks crazy. But uh, if you get this correct... You are good to go. I'm going to pause here for a second just in case you guys want to pause the video. And up next on the agenda is to rise some pillars. And I guess the easiest way would be just to go row by row. So let's start on this row over here. And all those pillars which we see are going to be three blocks in height, counting with the ground ones. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. You guessed it. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And one, two, and three. Next row. All those which we see over here in a straight line are going to be six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Five and six. The inner ones are going to be five. So going to be one block less than the ones which we just placed. So one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And five. Like a soul. Let's not touch the, 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 like the door pillars yet, but those ones over here, the log ones, are going to be five as well. So one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And the last one. One, two, three, four, and five. Next one, so we only have two. We have this one and that one. Gonna be six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. This might change later on, but for the moment, let's just keep them six. So one, two, three, and six, like a so. The next row is gonna be this row on the inside, and those guys are gonna be four. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And then the last row over here is gonna be pretty much the same as we have over here. They're just gonna be three. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And that is pretty much all the pillars laid out as we have them over here. From above, or maybe not from above, but just from this angle, it looks something like a so. And just to count them again, we have the first row is three. Then we have four, six, five, five, six, and three. Voila, kawabanga. And then let's grab some oak planks and let's place them on this pillar over here. That's the fourth block. And let's take this shape all the way across to the far end. Like this. And let's do the same on this side. So the fourth block is going to be oak planks. And that shape goes all the way to the far end. Like a soul. And I guess up next would be to get some walls in. However, I'm going to do the roof. You might be, but that's crazy. Hey, it might be. But let's just get our roof outline. And then we're going to get back to the walls, all right? So let's grab some spruce slabs. And let's go to this block, which is the oak block. And let's place uh, two slabs like a soul on the bottom layer of the full block like that. And then we're going to have spruce planks. And back to the slabs. So on the top layer, we're going to have a slab. And on the bottom one. Top layer and bottom one. Top layer but then, spruce stairs. So we have slab, full block, and then slabs on top and bottom, top and bottom, and top, and a stair. And then we're gonna have an upside down stair, a normal placed one, and an upside down like a so. So we have two stairs placed uh, the normal way, and two upside down. Next step, spruce planks, boom, and stairs. One normally placed, one upside down. Full block of uh, spruce planks, stairs normally placed and one more upside down like this so let me just pause the shape over here so you just get a feel for it we're gonna have slabs placed like this then a full block then we're gonna have on the top layer we're gonna have slab and on the bottom one top layer and bottom one top layer and then move on to stairs so we're gonna have a stair placed normally and one upside down one place normally and one upside down so that means we have two stairs placed normally and we have two stairs which are upside down. Up next, spruce planks. And then stair placed normally and one upside down. And then planks, 
stir place normally and one upside down. So you should be having a shape looking something like this young padawans, if not, I have failed you, alright? But now we just need to find the middle piece and we know it's gonna be those two blocks just here in the doorway, right? And to finalize the roof shape, we're just gonna be using the slab. So let's place a slab on this upside down stair on this side and one on this side and just take it out like this and one on this elevation. Take it out and one more like this. Connect them up and one on the top. And that is easy peasy lemon squeezy. It could not be easier than this. But we do have like this nice, like, I don't know, what you're gonna call it, like bell shaped roof. And uh, yeah, feel free to pause the video in case you need that. But it is super simple, right? And up next, they're gonna be the walls. And this is where it gets tricky because the walls are gonna be consistent of different textures and patterns and materials. And you could just use one for a plain texture all over the place, but uh, I'm gonna do a layer and we'll see what this takes us, all right? But first things first, let's rise out those pillars over here to four blocks in height in total using a stripped oak, one, two, three, and four. And on the fifth one, let's take oak logs across like a beam going something like a saw and then i guess we're gonna go crazy pretty much so let's go over here and let's start so let's say we would maybe get some oak planks then some oak stairs placed like this then some spruce planks for example right then on the next elevation we can have some upside down uh, oak stairs for example the next one could be some stripped oak logs like this and then planks and i know it looks a little bit weird at this stage but when the whole thing is completed, it will look kind of snazzy, right? So believe. So that is something I'm going to be doing. And let's do this all over the place until we meet up with the top elevation over here, right? So let's go for this and we'll see where this takes us. And it's just pretty much just looping the different textures around and around. And don't, don't be scared of placing like two of the same next to each other and whatnot. Maybe not to, against the door there, but other than that, just go crazy. I kind of like this. It looks, it looks really messed up at this stage, but I kind of like this. Then we will have a window over here. Uh, let me just see, should we fill up that gap? Let's not do that yet. Let's get maybe some oak planks, maybe some spruce planks, maybe some stripped oak logs, and this could be going all the way here to the far end. And uh, you know what? Let's maybe finalize this shape over here. So as I said, there's no right, there's no wrong. Just go crazy with the, with the blocks, combinations and whatnot, and you will be good in the, in the long run believe all right then let's have this then we're gonna have a window obviously so let's maybe get a full block over here then we're gonna get some stripped oak logs and strip oak logs like a little beam across like this and then maybe it's really hard to see over here but let's get this over here and we know the roof is gonna be coming here by the way so this roof is gonna be coming here so that block needs to be one of those uh, oak planks otherwise it's gonna look really strange when it comes to textures and whatnot that is one window let's do the same on this side this then we're gonna have this this we're gonna have planks planks uh, let's get stripped oak logs like this one more one across and then oak planks and where's the roof coming it's gonna be coming just over here so that's gonna be this uh, if you know what i mean it's gonna be looking something like this because this roof shape is gonna be following throughout the whole build so the next one would be something like this and the next one would be on this elevation. So we'll still have one block to kind of fill the gap over here. Something like this. So we have two windows on both sides. And let's just fill this little roof over here. Please feel free to, uh, to pause over here. Because uh, I know it's maybe not the easiest. Oh, okay, sorry. There's going to be actually a stair over here. Might not be the easiest uh, thing you've seen on camera. But it is really simple. Because this is just a random constellations of blocks all over the place. All right. And... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just wait here for a second just in case you really want to copy this block by block. And using some oak stairs, let's place one upside down on this pillar on the top elevation and one on this side like a saw. And then connect them up using oak slabs from side to side and bam. What we could do however is maybe delete this one just above the pillar for the door entrance and let's get a spruce stair upside down placed in that gap and one on this side like a saw. And then pretty much on the back stages over here, let's just fill this little gap in and once again there is no right, there is no wrong, just go crazy and I'm sure you're gonna get a really nice shape and it's just gonna look snazzy as you can see i'm just placing like random blocks just like uh, 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 and but i'm boom done it so how does this look from the front not bad i would say in case you want to really copy the blocks this is how it looks and before we fill that gap and then copy this shape to the other side and continue on the side walls let's maybe take in the 
the roof by two layers or something. So let's do something like this. And this is pretty much just following the other shape. So the next one would be stairs. Next one is going to be some oak planks. Stairs. Oak planks. Stairs. Yeah, it's kind, kind of straightforward and simple. Uh, it might look super tricky and complex, but uh, believe me, it ain't. So we have stairs. Planks. Planks, stairs, and then on the top, obviously, we're going to have tons of uh, slabs and whatnot. But we're also going to place a second story over here, and that's going to be placed on this little, like, uh, slab shelf we just placed over here. And once again, it's a bunch of random block constellation. There is nothing right, there is nothing wrong. And uh, the thing I would use is maybe just, I don't know, stairs, because that does definitely add a little bit of variation to the whole uh, scheme like for example like placing a normal stair and then an upside down one kind of looks a little bit of, like a broken off shape and i adore that let's see how does that look not bad maybe just too symmetrical with this done down here but i don't even care because then we can place one more like let me see here. if i would do this and then place one more over here for example maybe even have this we also have gonna have a window and that window is going to be placed just in the middle. So first blocks would be like maybe stripped oak like this, for example. <laughs> example. <laughs> Stop saying that. And then we would just have this, this, maybe this, uh, this. And then we will have stripped oak across like that. And that window itself is going to be two by two. And uh, is that enough? That is most definitely enough. Let's have stripped oak and just planks over here. See, there's, there's absolutely no right or wrong. Some, like, I know maybe like people like, oh my god, this is so fast, I can't keep up. You don't have to. Uh, trust me when I say you don't have to. This is just pretty much a random constellation, once again, of blocks and patterns. And it does not really much, much, uh, make much sense. Besides, it's just a bunch of random uh, bits and pieces all over the place. And obviously I'm going to pause here in a little second so you guys can catch up if you really, really, really want to copy this block by block. But uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. Make yourself something which is super unique. See, this is, I don't know, I think it looks nice. Even though it's just a random mixture of, of blocks and whatnot. Boom! And I'm going to actually pause here just in case once again you want to copy this block by block. But it's just a random constellation. There's no thought going into this at all. And using some spruce trapdoors, let's get a little window shutter going. Two on this side, and two on that side. And what goes for the front door, like, I'm gonna do this a little bit more of a safe version than I have on Hermitcraft server. So let's just place them like so. It's gonna be four in height. And then remove those. Same goes for this uh, side. So four in height. And then just remove two of those. And in that little gap, we're going to have some spruce uh, doors placed like so. You could have one opened up totally, but this is a little bit more of the secure way. It still looks pretty darn decent in my opinion. And in the gaps of the windows, let's get some uh, spruce fans on this side. Spruce fans on this side. And then just above those spruce stairs over here, let's get oak wood fence, oak wood fence. And let's just maybe hang some lanterns from those two. Like this. And that is pretty much the whole front of the barn done. Obviously, we can purify it with some bushes and hay bells and whatnot. But let's copy this shape to the other side. Take me away. gentlemen it is taking shape and i have to say it is uh, yeah it is quite huge but uh, let not the size discourage you right to build it that is and up next would be the walls so let's maybe start on this side and uh, we will have walls pretty much in different shapes different uh, variations and i think on this side you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let me see here can i grab a little bit of stairs and there we go spank you spank you let's maybe have a stair over here let's have um, let's have a window here you might be but but why here Corrales. well mainly from the inside it's gonna look quite nice because then we have a block uh, towards the window or an, and a block to the window on this side as well yeah 
that is perfect and that is going to be pretty much the only windows we're going to have the windows just on the sides and the rest is just going to be filled in with random constellations of blocks once again and i know i'm rushing this maybe some people might be really upset and like Kralis, we don't like you anymore i'm like i'm sorry i'm, I'm really sorry i don't want to I kind of feels like I don't want to waste you guys time doing this because it is really, really like just randomized. I'm not like, I'm not paying attention to it to this at all. And also this lot uh, trim is going to be going all the way to the other side now. Something like this and I like it. And also feel free to pause here just in case you want to copy this block by block, but don't. Be unique, be your little snowflake and whatnot. And on this side, we are going to do a little bit different. Uh, on the Hermitcraft server, my barn kind of ends abruptly over here this one goes out and i was thinking maybe like an outside stables over here on the side so this wall is going to be coming just over here on those pillars which are six in height and this wall will actually be six in height this could just be filled in now like a so boom and then yeah so just on this little perimeter it's going to be going all the way across and all the way up to here uh, you might be but Kralis, we need to see this no no no, no you, you absolutely don't ladies and gentlemen we have a wall once again feel free to pause here but it is pretty much just randomized all right and then what we could do is pretty much close off the roof over here however i would want to do this let's maybe do oak stairs like so just in between the gaps over here nothing like nothing like fancy smancy wow this looks really nice it is very 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 simple but it will work and then what we could do we could just let me see here let me just show you we could maybe do let's get some coarse dirt and also some fence gates let's get a uh, oak fence gate so let's do this let's have a little thing here with coarse dirt and um, this little area over here could be dug out and you don't have to have like stables over here no 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 no. you can pretty much have like uh, a storage area here instead and have this opened up but I was thinking maybe this is going to look cool. And what I think is about this is that if you want to have stables here, you can even open up this wall over here and have an indoor stable. So the gas kind of goes, I, you know what I mean, right? And then let's just have some of those here and this here. This is going to be going like this. And then we're just going to have some fence gates in between. And obviously tons of animals. I'm not going to add anything here now, but just in case you want it is a possibility ladies and gentlemen this could totally go inside as well if you just open up the little thing over here but i'm gonna keep it as it is i'm gonna grab myself some lanterns and we're gonna add maybe just some light over here for the moment oh yes that is kind of pretty i would say and then pretty much get this uh, trim over here all the way to the far end like this one more thing we could do is grab those fence gates and then just place them just on those pillars over here not needed by any means but it does give you this little extra oomph <laughs> if you know what i mean oomph no just a little decoration piece uh maybe not like that but like so oh yes so we have a little stables and now what we're gonna do is pretty much just follow the roof shape and kind of close this off uh, a little bit over here and obviously this roof could be shaped differently over here in the front we could have had it like this going up like this for example just to give it a little bit of extra oomph <laughs> no but you know what i mean right just decoration and depth to the whole build i mean possibility most definitely and i kind of like that so let's keep it as as it is over here right man this is gonna look really really snazzy i'm not gonna do anything yet just to give you guys some inspiration for the stables and whatnot but next up on the agenda is to get uh, this roof all the way up to those stairs and all the way across however let's just fill this gap because otherwise it might look a little bit fugly and uh, yeah we don't really want that now do we bam, bada, boom. why not and then all the way to those stairs so stairs stairs maybe some slabs and slabs and from side to side ladies and gentlemen from side to side like a soul ladies and gentlemen it is taking shape it is a little bit of a complex build but uh it's gonna look super snazzy believe me all right okay up next let's get some of the stripped oak logs and let's take a beam or maybe even nah you know what? let's just use the stripped ones let's take this beam all the way across from side to side and let's do the same with this one here in the far end. Like a so. And then using the oak planks, place one here, one here, one here, and one here. And now we're going to be using uh, quite a bit of slabs. And those slabs are going to be placed pretty much within this area, this area, 
and this area and they just be gonna be coming on the top elevation of those beams we just placed so nothing really like wow but uh, it will work as a little flurry. However, we will need to light it up quite a, uh, quite a bit on the upstairs. Otherwise, badness will spawn and kill you when you sleep. And well, <laughs> maybe you don't sleep in a bar. <laughs> I cannot do on the Hermitcraft server now. So yeah, but uh, let's just fill in those gaps for the moment. Like this. So we do have an upstairs. We have a little flooring. We will, however, let me just jump down. Let's make a hole on that pillar. And let's do the same on this side. And then we're just going to have a little ladder going up like this and on the on the oak planks we will just place ourselves trap doors so one on this side works and one on this side works perfect and what goes for this side i mean um there's gonna be a, a oak planks coming here so this space well we could maybe have something in it like if we would maybe make upside down uh, oak stairs then we could have chests and whatnot but for the moment, let's just fill it in, but just so you know, there is a possibility. So two layers of oak planks, and the third one is going to be some oak stairs. Like a so. And before we close the roof over here, I'm just going to replace the grass with some floor. And this is in the beholder. I'm going to be using gravel, coarse dirt, some glowstone, which I'm going to do this wood and just put some light gray carpet over. I'm going to be using some stone slabs and just some stone. And I think that is quite a nice combination. So let me just do this quickly and I'm going to be right back with you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a beautiful barn floor and outside bushes just to give it this extra oomph and maybe not oomph but just so you guys get some inspiration on how it might look outside next step is let's go inside let's fly up and then let's start placing some planks in this gap over here so let's do one two three four and five and let's do the same from this side one two three four and five one over here and one over here then upside down stairs like a soul like a soul like a soul and then in between those oak slabs boom and from the outside let's grab the oak stairs and let's get them all the way across to the other side and we're almost done this is not an easy build but hopefully you guys enjoyed and now just to give us a little extra character because from the outside it looks a little bit bland uh, when it comes to the roof because it's pretty much just one color only so let's just jump in and using spruce uh, planks let's place them on those upside down stairs which we just placed like a so and then grab full planks and go all the way to here leave that gap intact place a full block of planks over here intact full block and then just continue this is going to be three windows on the upstairs might look really bad but hopefully not let's grab let me see do you have any spruce stairs there we go let's place a spruce there here and here one from this side and one from that side and the same goes for those and the remaining ones well obviously we're just gonna fill this up with some of the normal stairs and how will this look you think i think this looks gonna look really really nice obviously we can maybe just use some of the what you're gonna call it the spruce fences as well and we could even do the same on the other side and that will definitely pop a little bit I think I, I, I think so. Let's take those planks all the way across like this. And then on top of that, let's maybe just get a spruce slab. Boom, boom, and boom. Yeah, you know what? That definitely pops out a little bit. And let's do the same from the other side. So where we did we have them? We had them like on those, right? If I'm not mistaken. So this over here is going to be spruce and spruce. And we just bend it like Beckham, like a so. Ladies and gentlemen, they are so simple, but it just works so nice. Roof is closed and I just follow the outer shape of the roof, so don't get upset. And then the top is just going to be spruce planks, mainly just to give it a little bit of extra color over here. But I like that a lot. And we're pretty much done, to be honest. Let's just jump on the inside for a moment. Uh, by the way, before I do that, let me just grab... There we go, spruce stairs. And on the inside, let's just do a few extra light sources. So let's maybe add... Oh, this could actually be up here somewhere about. And then this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. And on this side. This is not needed, but it's definitely going to give us a little bit of extra light and protect us from all the badness which are about to spawn in here because bad things will spawn. <laughs> oh man, this looks really nice. And then also using the trapdoors, let's make a little like railing. This is something which is really not needed at all because it does steal a little bit of the space, uh, if you know what I mean. 
but it definitely looks uh, well it do it looks nice so why not like this how it looking from downstairs kind of perfect the only thing which we kind of lack is a lot of kind of over here let's grab some oak uh, logs and let's go maybe let's see here where does this pillar come here can i delete this by the way yes i can so delete that and let's get a beam across all the way to the other side over here like this it just kind of makes it a little bit more realistic having a little bit of pillar work or framework showing inside of uh, of a barn at least in my opinion but uh, obviously nothing which is needed at all and boom how are you looking from downstairs by the way is that the wrong is that in the wrong place nope that is actually as it's supposed to be one more thing we can do is this if we just grab some spruce stairs we can maybe place them just upside down over here and i guess that is just to kind of connect kind of hide away the ugly uh, texture connects not needed once again but it does look quite nice oh yes and the same can, could be done uh, downstairs if wanted that is like on those guys we can maybe delete that and have something upside down but let's not i'm really happy with this well obviously we would need some light up here as well but other than that can i just place this on here i guess we could over here let's get one over here one over here one over here and maybe one over here this is not bad I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not gonna keep because it kind of feels like I've been recording this for like literally forever. But this is the the barn which I have from Hermitcraft, but a little bit different. I guess it's much bigger. Well, it's not really much bigger, but it is bigger, and it also holds this little side thingy over here, which is well stables, farms. I don't know. Just imagine this with like big farmlands and whatnot. Oh baby! But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna keep you. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you did enjoy, if you build it, please do share some uh, picture of it on my Twitter. There's going to be a link for that in the description below this video. And uh, yeah, hopefully you got the inspiration. I can maybe just add a few of those on this side as well. Just for decoration, for the extra oomph. <laughs> like this. Could I have those over here as well? Yes, indeed. And Uno Mas over here. Okay, that is pure love. Once again, let's just go in on the inside just for a finalize the look of this. But even with the shaders mod, it's kind of pretty in here. No, no, go out. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button. I'm going to see you guys in the next Let's Build or Hermitcraft video or whatever. But Kiralis, over and out. Bye, everybody.